What's going on YouTube? Josh here checking in. This video is going to be a compilation of two days worth of bench pressing as well as a few announcements. So the first announcement is that I've chosen the meet that I intend to compete in. Uh, I actually was hoping to compete this past weekend, March 21st, uh, down in uh, Florida at a, a local meet that was about 3-4 hours from my place. Unfortunately, the way it worked out, at, towards the end of my training cycle, maybe the last like four weeks or so when I started to peak for the meet, uh, life kind of just got in the way and my training got a bit derailed. Uh, combination of school and I was in the middle of moving and other stuff like that uh, where it just wasn't working out. I just wasn't able to dedicate my time and attention to my training that I needed to and I just didn't feel ready to compete in a meet. So there's no sense pushing yourself and going into a meet, you know, if you're just not there. Um, you know, if you're not going to be able to bring your best on the platform, then why are you wasting your time? So I have pushed my training up a bit and I have my eyes on a meet that's going to be in uh, May 2nd at the Europa in Orlando, Florida. So now that I have this meet basically set up, I've started my meet preparation and this past week was week one of seven for the meet prep. Um, regarding that, you know, I definitely prefer to have more than seven weeks of preparation for a meet. I prefer at least eight to ten weeks, that way I can get a solid base cycle in prior to peaking for the meet. But honestly, I'll take what I can get, and I'm in decent shape right now where, you know, it shouldn't really make too much of a difference, because I've been preparing pretty well, and I've overall, for most of my lifts, made quite a bit of gains uh, since the last time I stepped on the platform back in May of 2014. So. Regarding this meat prep cycle, you know, one of the lifts that has always been a struggle for me has been the bench press. Now, ironically, I do online programming and I do coaching for a bunch of people of different levels and I've helped a lot of people with their bench press. But somehow I've managed to not been able to do that so much for myself. Uh, you know, after my noob gains have kind of went away, they it seems as though for some reason I just was not able to see the progress that I needed and or that I thought was acceptable. So for this meet cycle, I decided to enlist uh, the help of a good friend, Jason Maninkoff. So I featured him actually in uh, one of my videos back a few months ago and he's actually a pretty well-known um, person in the powerlifting world. He's a raw powerlifter in the 165 weight class. He's most well-known for his bench press. Uh, because with a pause in competition, he benches nearly 420 pounds. Um, you know, he's not weak by any sense of the imagination on the other lifts. He's got over a 500 pound squat. You know, he competes at the Raw Unity meet, which is very high level meet. So he's a high level lifter all around, but his specialty is definitely the bench press. Um, so since he's a buddy of mine, I asked him for some help on this meat prep cycle. So I'm actually having Jason do my programming for the bench press and kind of just uh, seeing how that goes. Overall, I must say that I, I really like the idea of having a coach for it and um, you know, it just makes my life easier. I don't have to program for three days out of the week now. I, I just do my programming for lower body days. And for some reason, when I know somebody else is doing the programming, I just take it a little bit more seriously. So that's one nice advantage of the coaching. So I'm going to talk about the video a little bit now. You'll see here I've done a bunch of sets. This is actually the day two and you'll see I'm trying to work with the push string. It's given me a lot of problems and I got pretty pissed. Uh, so it, it actually wasn't a problem with the device, it was just that I hadn't charged it in a while and when the battery starts getting low, the connection quality, I guess, is not that good. So uh, I obviously got pretty pissed and then uh, as a result of that, I kind of used my rage in that set and you can see the speed here on this uh, is, was pretty good. So overall, um, as far as the benching went, it was pretty solid, you know, I, I really can't complain at all about how the benching went this week itself. Um, one of the recommendations that, that Jason mentioned, because I, I do have some trouble off the chest sometimes as the weight gets heavier, he actually recommended bringing my grip in about one finger width. So previously I was benching with my pinky on the rings, and now I brought it in just about one finger width. And I must say that at first it felt a little bit weird, I wasn't quite as stable, um, you know, just holding the weight at lockout, but I kind of like it and I think I'm gonna see how that goes. So I finish up the workout here with some slingshot benching and what I realize is that I essentially set the racks just a bit too low so I kind of have to do a bit of a quarter rep to uh, unrack the weight there which is obviously just a huge waste of energy. So anyway guys that's pretty much the video of the benching for this past week. 
of just two out of the three days. And I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you're not subscribing already, be sure to subscribe to uh, follow my progress. So since I'm asking Jason to help me out with this programming, definitely want to know from you guys, do you have anybody else do your programming? Have you hired a coach? Or do you do your own programming? Or do you just follow a program online? And how do you find that working for you? And what are your thoughts? So I'll be sure to get back to you guys in the comment section, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Somebody should have told you I'm on one. Yeah.